Hi friends, welcome to Non-Functional Club. As a part of our screen mirroring series, today we are going to look into another tool for wireless mobile screen mirroring. It's called Let's View. So we will look into installation, its configuration on mobile and on Windows device. So let's see the demo. So for downloading Let's View, just go to Google and search Let's View. So once you search, you'll land on the first site itself is an official website. So just click on it. So here we can click on get started. On this page, we have download option. So as this particular application is compatible with windows mac iphone android and tv as well so you'll get all these installers present as we're going to install it on windows machine you can click on download so once you click on download the download will be started automatically so it will ask us where you want to keep this set of file just click on save and the download will be initiated so in this way, you can download it on a Windows machine. Once you download it, it will use the similar step of installing. So if you navigate to the folder where you have this particular application, you know, downloaded, just go there and click on the installation prompts and the installation will be done for your particular application. As I have already downloaded and installed, I'll just search for the application and launch it. Once you launch the application, it will be displayed in this way. So here you can see the option of screen mirroring. You have an option of passcode and QR code whenever you want to mirror any of the device, maybe iOS, Android. So now this is the client for Windows machine. Similarly, we have to install client for Android. As we're looking for Android, I'll just show you how we can install this client on Android device. Click on Play Store application and search for Let's View application. Once you open the Let's View screen, you'll get an option to install the app. As I've already installed it, I'm having open. So I'll click on open. Once you open the app, under My Devices section, you will get to know all the applications or all the devices which were connected recently. Apart from this, you can use My Pass Key or QR code to scan and connect on the particular device. For QR code scan, we will need to provide an additional permission. At the top right corner, you can click on the Wi-Fi scan option. And you can just use the device camera to scan the QR code on the client you want to connect. Once you click on start now. So once you click on start now, after scanning the QR code, you will be displayed with the mobile screen. Currently, I have scanned my tablet. So here, if you see, our wireless screening has turned on. If I even open a game, so automatically it will go to landscape mode and the game will be launched here. Right. So similarly, any application if you want to launch or open, you can clearly do that. It will support both landscape and portrait mode. And similarly, it can be accessed. So it is very repulsive to the effect. It is instantly shows you the screened mirroring from your mobile device. If you want to disconnect, just close it from here and it will be disconnected. So if you close here, you will see it has been disconnected. 
again if you want to launch you can again use the passcode or QR code to scan from your particular mobile device so here it is just that we need to launch it using a let's view client and on both the devices you need to have let's view installed so that was a demo on let's view application to connect your device wirelessly stay tuned for more interesting topics on performance security and mobile devices don't forget to subscribe non-functional club channel hope this session was useful thank you